Hi everybody, Chris here the Blind Wood Turner. Thanks for joining me again today. It's a lovely day here again, here in the UK. <clears throat> so, before I get started today, there's a couple of things I'd like to say. First of all, uh, hi to all my new subscribers. Uh, I really do appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to click the button and subscribe and uh, the comments and the support that, that you give me, you know, are most welcome and, you know, it, me, it does mean a lot to me. So thank you again. And uh, I've just had a, a recent batch of subs, new subscribers on the back of a shout out from Daniel Villarino. So thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, and I've had a shout out from a, a new YouTube channel uh, and is a new wood turner and his name is Keith Barrow so uh, he's got a few videos under his belt and it's it's always it's always nice to hear someone new taking up wood turning and going through the journey of learning these new skills and being creative and you know amazing not only themselves but their friends and family as well and people that watch the channel so it's Keith Barrow so uh, if I can remember, I'll ask Charlie to put a link to his channel in the description for this video. Uh, but if I don't remember, it's quite simple, Keith Barrow. So go over and lend him your support and you know, he'd, he'd love a few subscribers. So uh, the second point is a big thank you on behalf of Charlie for all the lovely comments and feedback he got. Uh, when he did his drumming warm up, so he didn't know I was going to do that, and that's why I sort of like snuck up on his bedroom and you know gingerly opened the door because he wouldn't probably have allowed me to do that. He's, he's, he's a bit shy, is Charlie, really? So uh, that was his drum warm up anyway, and he was warming up to Jeff Wayne's musical version of War of the Worlds, which is something we both love. So he was doing a warm up just to get things flowing and his hands loose and everything so after that he'd have gone into his proper drum syllabus and you know done his proper homework but thank you to everyone that left a lovely comment for Charlie and uh, it's it gave him a good boost and he, he loved reading the comments and he loved replying to them so thank you so much everybody it does it means a lot to all of us that you you're very kind to uh, Charlie as well so uh, what I'm going to do today is a key ring so uh, I'll get the camera repositioned and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there okay so I just thought I'd show you the the kit components and we've got a split ring here obviously that attaches to let's have a feel this item now that's one of the caps but it has a a hole in it so the split ring can be attached and then you've got the other end cap and then if I have a feel I've got here what I believe let's just put it on what I believe here is a piece of elm and I've already drilled the the hole seven millimeters and inserted the tube and trimmed the ends so I hope you've seen that all right so there you have it so what I'm going to do now is uh, put the camera back on the tripod and I'll insert the mandrel and we'll get turning okay let's just have a feel now there's the mandrel it's a uh, number two more safer mandrel so let's just remove a couple of spaces I don't use any specially bought uh, bushings for this I just use the the spaces that came with the mandrel so here we've got the blank now so I'll just add that onto the mandrel 
couple of spaces there's one there's two and then I just then I just knock some on the floor oh, excuse me sorry where is it got it right I'm back and then I just put that additional spacer on there now I've got the uh, the mandrel saver already fitted in the tail stock so bring that up lock it in and just, just tighten that up not too much lock that in make sure everything's secure right, find the tool rest here we go so that feels about right and just make sure that I'm not catching anything back it off a bit okay now the shape that I'm going for it's sort of like a teardrop and I must say that this idea it's coming from Harry Watts so when Harry does uh, some pen turning he does these uh, teardrop shaped key rings to accompany them now I spoke to Mike Newman at the speed of sight and I said oh we might have another nice little product for your web shop and it's these key rings again made out of these lovely exotic hardwoods and acrylics and you can sell them either individually or we could perhaps make a pen and keyring set at the same time so yeah he was uh, up for the idea so this is actually uh, another item to be sold on the speed of sight web shop so <clears throat> there it is now let's just make sure it doesn't catch no it's not catching so what I'm gonna do now is basically turn it down to a cylinder and then I shall start shaping so I'm just going to grab my face shield no loose sleeves face shield keep safe roughing gouge so let me just get me bearing so I know that I'm I'm well within the tool rest length so I'm not going to be falling off so it's just basically it's just a, a nice little cutting motion from side to side so let's go turn her on get the speed ramped up rub the bevel start cutting Right, so what I need to do now with my spindle gouge is I need to thin this end right down to the, the bushing and it's going to gently fatten out and then at this end I'll just roll it over so I'll just get going Gently roll that end over. Just gentle touches. Just stop, have a feel, and move to this other end. Just start thinning this down. Just gentle, gentle cut. So I'm after a teardrop shape.
Okay everybody welcome back now so that's sanded up to 600 and the the 600 grade which was the last obviously the last grade after you've done it with the lathe spinning go lengthways uh, to get rid of any possible uh, swirl marks you might have so what I've got here now is sanding sealer so just give it a good shake let's find out where I am a bit on there and rub it well into your workpiece and it's quite warm in here today so this will literally just take a couple of minutes make sure you work it right into them ends there and we'll just give that a second I'll just have the lathe turning on its slowest speed just get some air moving over and it'll just flash off that little bit quicker and then uh, I've got a piece of scotch bright here which is what I denib with in between sanding sealers and things like that so just cut it to thin strips that's almost there now right so just cut this back now with this scotch bright just light pressure not that raised grain down and that'll do just stop the lathe and then I can apply the second coat of sanding sealer So now I'm ready to apply some friction polish. So I'll just put some goggles on for this. Safety goggles. Because it will be spinning at a higher speed now while you apply this and get some heat into it. Let's see how that sounds. A bit slower than that. That'll do. Friction polish. So, just keeping that moving and it right into them ends. Okay next and final step now is I've got this Turner stick made by Liberon and it's beeswax but it's got a high content of carnauba wax very very hard and carnauba wax is very very hard and you can there's a noticeable difference between this and beeswax so as the lathe's turning now I shall present this and apply a coat so let's just get my By a coat and then get some heat into that and it'll melt the wax and start polishing it's very tough and durable canuva wax just let that set up for a few seconds now and I'll buff it and then apply a second coat okay, here we go again, second coat turn the speed up now Keep moving. Now just a, a clean, fresh piece of tissue. Give 
give this a final polish. And that should be it. Right, we're over at the uh, the press now, so I've got the the component parts here. So this, let's have a feel. This is the end cap with the hole in. So I need this to be the top. So that's going to push in into this section here. So I'll just locate that in the indent in that nylon. Gently press that home. That feels nice there. So now I need to push home the other end cap. So what I do now is because one of these ends will be touching this metal here, I'll just protect that with a bit of tissue. Same again, just gentle pressure. There you have it. So I will just uh, put the split ring on. Okay, everybody, there you have it. That's the completed key ring. So it's elm and gold. Uh, Quick and easy to make. That's taken me about an hour and a half, which is which is good for me. I think it's the quickest thing I've ever I've ever done actually on the lathe. So that's another one for Mike Newman. So hopefully that's a few more coffers towards a disabled or blind person getting a drive in a race car. So gotta keep chipping away at it, folks. So thanks for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. So thank you very much. Until the next time everybody. Bye.